It's Warcraft Day. Greetings everybody, this is Stormy with the capital Z coming back at you with another replay request. Hey there, welcome back Jockey. See you're still there. So this replay request is going to be by a member of the Warcraft 3 America's Discord community known as Kid Dweeb or Dave. And this is actually going to be a replay request by some third players and not actually uh, going to have him. This is something that I keep mentioning that people kind of forget the replay request series. We got Law Liar spawning over here at the bottom left as the purple orc player or rather the green orc player. As soon as I shift my color filters to be off, he will face against Django, who is spawning as the blue human on the top right. It's going to be human versus orc on autumn leaves, a rather relatively newer map which actually has a really calming feel to it. I really love the loader on fall tile set and this kind of reminds me um, I really love the touch on this map with a uh, couple of green trees around a couple of greenery as well along with the loader on fall tile set so I'm gonna go over the map a bit as uh, the players are putting down their altars and selecting their heroes putting their start builds it's going to be farce here for lolliet and archmage for Django so this map has an easily um, a camp that easily expansion that can be kept out uh, tower in the middle goblin uh, not a goblin it's a bird mercury camp uh, goblin laboratory over here and towards the towards the back of those uh, buildings would be the goblin merchant and behind them another uh, expansion which has a rather moderate difficulty to creep out Although this expansion is much safer when it comes to creeping, it, it, it's a bit further away from your opponent. Although it's a bit further away from your base as well in compared to this expansion. This is easily creepable, this is a bit difficult, uh, but this is more safer. So you have choice of where you actually want to expand. Arzi are going to make its way towards the opponent base immediately while the Archmage goes in for the creeping over here. Actually power creeping with the Militiamen just to be able to uh, creep out uh, in just in case of any kind of early aggression being shown by his opponent which is actually going to be the case as Lolliad gets in over here with the Farseer sending his spirit wolves from the other side and the spirit wolves will go after the militiamen, militiamen being transformed, uh, militiamen taking arms rather and going to work right after those spirit wolves as the farseer is taking a beating there he is taking a lot of damage at the hands of the footmen and being chased off as the archmage remains back at the base to try and defend against those spirit wolves it is tech time the town hall is upgrading so any number of peasants lost over here will not be recovered for django he is odd he is gonna have to be very careful not to lose any of the peasants there because if he does lose it his economy is going to be disrupted his wood harvest rate is going to be um, going to be taken down to a level which is uh, not sustainable and he's going to feel the effect for it as soon as he hits tier 3 he's not going to have enough uh, wood for setting down his tier 3 uh, tier 2 buildings rather as soon as he gets to tier 2 sorry I won't be able to set down the C2 building, won't be able to get a second hero, you know, a lot of things are disrupted. That Farseer taking a beating right now and down to 65 HP, the Archmage is trying to target it down actually. Django needs to chase off that Farseer, the Farseer is weak, one more, one more fireball, whoa! <laughs> that, that TP there, using the TP at the last second there, but no, 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 it appears that Django wants to get a, no, why isn't he going after the Farseer? The Farseer is weak, there is no shop! He needs to kill the Farseer now! Come on, Django! Now he sees it! But the shop is up! The Farseer is at the back line though, and it doesn't seem like it uh, it doesn't seem like Django wants to over commit or try to overextend over here. There's a lot of uh, headhunters there to try and defend. They're gonna block off any kind of uh, position that uh, the far Archmage can get, but I strongly believe that. Django could have easily compromised this farce here. 
that would have been huge for him even though it's just a level 1 hero and just going to cost uh, Lola at 170 gold. He wouldn't have his hero for some time there while his opponent Django would be creeping and gaining more levels. So that would have been huge but uh, Lawlight escaping with a narrow um, save there and sort of a miss um, opportunity by Django. I would really call that a miss opportunity there. <laughs> and Django this time having the weaker hero forced to retreat back to his base already at tier 2 putting down his arcing sanctums and getting some riflemen as well. So we can have riflemen and priests uh, just like any other game it appears against Berserkers, I guess that would be the way to go. And um, Lawlight have actually rather. He's throwing caution to the wind. He's actually taking damage on that Farzier, keeping it in the fight with those creeps there. There was no need for him to do that. And uh, Django on the other side doing a similar thing over here as his Mountain King make its way out of the fight. Uh, there's one thing to note there that Django's heroes are still at level 1. The Farseer on for Lawlight although just got to level 2 with that last creep there. And uh, this time he's going for a very harder camp actually. The Dire Frost Wolves is actually hard to deal with. Amount of damage across the board with those Headhunters is actually really good there. Managing to take out the big fish first. Now they're gonna go after the little ones and the Wardens are really dealing a lot of damage as you can see. Piercing damage don't really do a lot of damage to the medium armor. That's the benefit that they're getting there. Reduce damage to armor. Going to creep out the expansion that is easily creepable. And actually going to let the Mountain King level up with that. I think that's a good idea. Thorn Chieftain out as the second hero for Lolliot. As level 2 wolves now, dire wolves making their way in, the feral spirits are going to go after those workers and they're actually dealing a lot of damage there, targeted by the arcane, arcane tower at the same time as well. Django isn't coming back to the base though, he is confident, uh, confident in the arcane tower for the time being. Storm Chieftain now going to creep a bit of the camps, getting a re Ring of Regeneration. That's actually a lovely, lovely item for the Torrent Chieftain there. Uh, he's gonna recover the TP there. He's gonna have to recover the TP real soon. Dango getting himself a Ward of Healing, actually. Pretty good item for Django. Rifleman Priests is just what he's going for, and Rifleman Priests is the human meta right now. Just throw in Rifleman Priest, it'll work against most of the builds there. Uh, Priest got dispelled, we got dispelled! And the dispel will compromise those spirit wolves. Stomp across the board there, chain lightning and... All I had forced to speed scroll away while his opponent picks up the pieces at this camp here. Mountain King almost level 3 though. Artemis is gonna stagger behind when it comes to levels. Got a couple of sh shamans making their way towards the fight. We don't have tier 3 yet. I don't think uh, Bloodlust is the target for Lawlight, although I strongly believe Bloodlust should also be a target. It should definitely, definitely be a target for Orc players. There is absolutely no reason to not get Bloodlust, considering the fact that we got a lot of headhunters that are going to be transformed into Berserkers. I don't know, at least for the time being, they aren't. Is he transitioning? Gonna get a Kodo Beast as well. He does have a Raider and Grunt on the field. Uh, I'm not sure if the Raider has Ensnare yet or not. All is gonna play with a couple of those units there. Uh, while Django goes to work at this dangerous red camp, the two Grand Dire Frost Rules and the Granite Golem. But take out the smaller units first and oh, oh his opponent thinks to take out the same camp! Oh no no! Django's gonna have to TP away. Though he's gonna get messed up big time! Big war stomp, killing most of the units there, and the creeps are backing out finally. So Django's gonna have a better chance against Lawliot as he goes after that Horn Chieftain, which almost got taken out there. The priests are falling one by one, ensnare and target. The focus there, and a big underclap there. Going to make short work of those headhunters. Kodo Beast making way towards the fight, perhaps should swallow one of the riflemen to max out. Kodobi is going to get targeted! 
That's a lot of damage across the board. The piercing damage is just exponential. The tornado damage. Kurubis gets taken down. Level 3-3 three, three against level 3-3. Three, three. Um, 46 army against 48. Both players are pretty much even right now. And Tango only got like a bit of an advantage after killing that headhunter. Actually, two units over here. I uh, made one of the priests as well, actually. I really like how Django bounced back over there in that fight after um, falling prey to the creepjack. Got, whoa, a raider going into the base of the human player Django there and actually trying to deal damage with that lightning, cha lightning shield. And oh my goodness, level 2 Thunderclap. War <laughs> Stomp, and that is also level 2, but. Or stomp isn't exactly meant to deal a lot of damage. It's meant to stun. The purpose of war stomp is to stun, and the purpose of the thunderclap is the damage. Or rather, I would really say the purpose, the main benefit, would be the right word there. The main benefit of the thunderclap is the damage across the board, and the war stomp doesn't do that much damage, but it stuns the army and then you can have your uh, backline deal a lot of damage to everything that got stunned you can have a lightning shield on the thorn chieftain that deals damage over time and a lot of lightning uh, shields being placed down there uh jockey says also that 50 percent slow is considered as well yeah absolutely that 50 percent slow also comes into play but it's not a stun it's just slows down the attack rate and purge being used by those shamans on that uh, hero there that's gonna ba uh, that's gonna stagger it behind just a bit there I strongly feel that purge is underutilized by orc players it has a nice effect that ca uh, that's basically the same effect that comes from the lightning orb but it's manual you can manually target your uh, you can manually target the, the units that you want uh, to get affected by that I think you should be doing that at Second shaman gets taken out. Third one may get taken out as Django does have it in his sight. Try and follow it, but not successful in doing so. And oh, oh, what do we have here? Lolai taking out the altar. Going to go and go after the farms. Okay. I guess destroy a couple of farms. Uh, he plays down a sentry ward. Kodobi's gonna eat up something. No! Kodobi will not survive. Really successfully managed to eat up anything there. An expansion being put down for Django, which is actually w was already under assault by. I mean, an expansion being put down by Lolit. Lolit, and that was already being assaulted by Django. An elemental, and that actually took out 50%. I'm not sure if the elemental was there from the start or if it was something else. But nonetheless, 50% has been taken out. The purge can also be used, by the way, on the elementals. And should be. Not sure if that storm bolt was productive. Um, or you took out a dire wolf, but you really want to waste a storm bolt on a spirit wolf there, like a feral spirit. Do you really want to do that? Well, I guess that kill would answer the question because you don't want to lose militiamen as well at the same time. Uh, we got a 49 food for Django versus a 46 food for Lawlight. Both players uh, do have the ability to break up keep, but they're not going to do that just yet. Django can do that since he has an expansion. I'm going to say Lawlight can do that since he has an expansion. On the other side, Django does not. So, I'm going to have to think about this. Oh, he's going after the main there. And now he's actually using a TP to go back to his base. Got it down to 50% about. Is a minor victory although what actually Lawlight is trying to do by my understanding is that he does have a sentry ward placed over here one here yeah so he's gonna ha actually have much intel of what Django is up to so Django is away trying to creep or something or even trying to go for his base he can actually go towards uh, Django's base and try to get down the main uh, if you have a situation where Django is attacking Lawlight's expansion and trying to attack that, Lawlight, and if Lawlight is at, during the same time simultaneously attacking the main of Django, we know who's going to suffer the bigger loss. So Django's gonna have to come back to his base. Lawlight can actually take out the main if he wants by doing that. While well, Lawlight uh, now goes to work at this expansion camp. 
What are these units doing here? They're rallied over there. Why are they rallied over there? Oh, Lala is gonna end up losing a couple of units for no reason, and this shaman as well, probably. Believes it. Tango doesn't do anything about it. Preparing his expansion. Eating from the elementals earlier. Now Tango going toward the expansion, and this is what I mentioned earlier! Lawlight can actually try and take out the main for Django, while Django doesn't really have to save his expansion. And Django knows about that, so he is gonna have to TP back to try and save his main. Stormbolt on that Shaman. Get a kill on that, and Django's gonna have to use Speed Scroll to run away, although the Mountain King is still hot in pursuit! I reckon there's another Stormbolt! Stormbolt! Django immediately gaining attention towards the creep camp there. Level 4-4 four, four versus level 3-3. Three, three. Although the Farseer is almost level 4 right now. The Fire Archmage now. Wow. That is huge. The Elementals will be on the field. Uh, they're gonna get purged, but they're gonna have a lot of beef. Three Elementals have much more beef and... Whoa, what, what do we have here? Django went for Brilliant Sora level 3 instead of Elemental, so he wants more mana. He wants the Mountain King to be empowered right now, and look at that mana regeneration rate. That is uh, some mana regeneration rate right now. You cast a Stormbolt, and you're al already gonna be done uh, recovering 25% of the mana after you cast the first Stormbolt. Like 75 mana, then you're gonna be done getting 25 mana in just in a bit. There we go. Not under the effect of Brilliant Sora anymore, though. I want to see how fast you can actually recover. I'm gonna have to time. I'm gonna have to time that as soon as the uh, Archmage gets near. And Shaman will of course get taken out. Jango's base is being assaulted. Lala going after the workshops, and Jango doesn't have a altar building. Ah, that run gets taken out. Here comes the Mountain King Thunderclap. I think this is a good time to monitor the mana there. He's currently at 100 mana. He's trapped. Stormbolt. There we go. At 36 mana. We're gonna have to see as long as soon as the Stormbolt is uh, covered there. And there we go. Stormbolt is ready. So he recovered from 30 to eight, uh, about 80. So that's a huge uh, mana pool there within a few seconds there. So technically speaking. You can keep casting Stormbolts and you can keep casting Thunderclaps. I think this is a brilliant idea. Coming uh, with Brilliant Sora level 3. And of course, uh, your units in the back line, the casters are also going to take advantage of that. That thing being picked up along with the Shredder. Shredder and Shredder base. I'm pretty sure what Lawlight is up to with. We really need that much wood. That's a bigger question is gonna be left over here and then gonna back to his base. I'm really not sure I'm not agreed with Lawlight's idea there. He already has a lot of uh, peasant, a lot of uh, you know, trying to get lumber. We're under Where are they? For a moment I thought there were too many of them. Mountain King is invisible! He, he got detected with that sentry ward and got caught but gets you use the thunderclap. That's a potion of invul so it should be fine for the most part. Level 5 on that Mountain King, and I mean, if I were Lolat, I would I would tap out, I think. I, I don't really know if I want to deal with a level 5 Mountain King, level 5 Archmage. And by the way, that's a level 5... Whoa, Shockwave! Yeah, by the way, that's a level 5 Mountain King, along with level 3 Brilliance Aura, and lovely sequence of events there by... Lawlight that dropped down the Zeppelin, uh, dropped down the Tower Chieftain and the Farseer, cast away their AoE spells and then got them into the Zeppelin once again. They're going to the back line! Uh, why does Django have two lumber camps? I think this one was a mistake. I guess he wanted to put down an altar and he put down a lumber back camp by mistake. Where's, where's the Zeppelin? There's the Zeppelin. Zeppelin? <laughs> I drop down a couple of those headhunters in the back, but I don't think those should be the units that he wants to. 
Ah, uh, it's way too many towers there. I really don't think there's going to be a lot that the Zeppelin can actually do. I don't think the Zeppelin uh, Micro is going to come into the play over here. And a lot of mana is being siphoned away. In lightning across the board. Could have mana for another one. No, no, no. Mana is being cut down with the Arcane Tower. Doesn't have enough mana for another one. Now, there we go. Already got that uh, disrupted. You're gonna take out a couple of farms in the back line, but really, that's not going to. Really, not going to hurt Django a lot. Really, not going to hurt Django a lot. Best way I can. Okay, that's why he wanted the shredder, I guess. He wanted to get the fortification upgrade and stuff. Th those things do need a lot of uh, lumber, so I guess that's why he wanted to lumber uh, shredder there. Django now going, trying to go in towards uh, the expansion there. Thunderclap combination with the br Blizzard. That is some combination there. And this time he only got Brilliant Sora level 2. Got Blizzard level 3, Brilliant Sora level 2. He's gonna deal a lot of damage across the board there. All the units starting to target down that main. Where are the units for uh, Lolai though? Is he still trying to here and he's gonna put down a tiny great hall for the loss that he's about to suffer <sighs> as he suffers the loss on that great hall and uh, Django doesn't really have to take out these towers like he can just back out right now he already took out the main um, staying over here yeah there we go casualty number one priest is down poor priest who I believe his name was Steve just got murdered there going in for the assault got a building on the outer end over here Django coming back it is in towards the outer end towards Lola it has a full mana pool mountain king Research complete. it this time has blizzard so I'm gonna have to use some um, have to target opponent to use that blizzard Ready to work. Careful, don't want it to get packed on those pastors. Pastors in the back line for sure. Lovely slow storm bolt and focus there. Mountain King once again. Hot in pursuit going in from the other side of the tree line. Gonna back out actually. Go towards the of Inwell is totally needed. Double TP over here though. Gold mine has collapsed. The main gold mine is collapsed and now Django is left with no gold mine while Lolaid actually has a tiny great hall expansion here but Django doesn't know about that expansion Django is under the impression that Lolaid also lost his expansion and also does not have gold supply but little does he know that Lolaid put down an expansion there Lolaid going in for the assault on the main right now trying to deal a lot of damage with those raiders and I'm not sure if he has pillage but if he does I think he does he, he's got pillage there for sure in gold as uh, he attacks the buildings there with the raiders and now is his the TP to get back to his base so yeah this is level 5 5 for Django 4 and 3 for all Iot all I going in for some more um, Zeppelin micro got himself Orans Orans is the answer to this. That will be his selection of unit. And the Zeppelin going in towards Django's base. Mountain King detects that, but could do anything about it. And they're actually going to take this expansion now. Now Lawlight's gotta be careful now. Lawlight's gotta do think about this right now as the entire gold line has been compromised. Stormbolt on the peon, poor peon gets murdered there. Django's gonna go after the expansion while Lawlight is going after the main. The main is once again repaired. Got a gyrocopter in the field, and the gyrocopter is gonna take out the zeppelins. And pilot Steve goes down with it. Here comes Django. Thunderclap across the board. A lot of damage. Django took out the expansion this time. No, he didn't. Expansion is still up for Lolai. It's still up. He was forced to come back to. His... Didn't really job, and now he's gonna do the job. He does have an extra TP. Two TPs on the Archmage now has an extra one available for use. So he doesn't have to spend anything now. He's just gonna go in. He doesn't have a lot of gold there, and uh, gonna have to spend some gold in trying to repair his buildings there. 
and more number of units that he loses is just going to benefit uh, Django there. I mean to say Lala at there. We got Pulverize as well on those Torn Chieftains and old. Oh, I mean to say Torrents, not Torn Chieftains. And oh no, Bloodlust coming in from the back line. Django is going to take a huge casualty over here. This looks very scary. Level 5 or not. We got about 4. Yeah, we got 4 Torrents on the battlefield with Bloodlust. With the third attack upgrade, with the second defense upgrade, and this looks bad for Django. Django's gonna go into its base, gonna try and defend with his choke points, and Blizzard. Very easily taken that expo and then TP'd away. I would agree with that, Jockey. That expansion would have been down, which is now up, and already started to mine with that. And he knows that he has an expansion, so now Lawlight has turned the tables. And now he has a lot of damage across the board. Level 5 or not, he will not manage to take out these torrents. The MK is being targeted. He is super weak right now. I'm gonna back out a bit with it, but the Thorn Chief actually has the ability to use uh, his mana potion and just cast a nice little shockwave on it. There's no ton uh, there is no war stomp on the Thorn Chief. He can just use shockwave to try to kill that MK, and I think he should be doing that. I think he wants a double kill. Now's a good time for the shockwave. Shockwave, shockwave! There we go! Shockwave! Chain lightning! Gets the kill on that MK. Archimage survives, but now it's too late. Now there's no way for Django to come back in this fight. He had the upper hand for a long time there. And I even called out Lawlight. I even said that, yeah, if I were Lawlight, I would have just quit the game. I don't really want to face level 5 um, MK, but he somehow went in uh, with the attrition, kept it going, and now he is winning the game. Django isn't quitting yet. A lot of peasant militiamen making their way in, but there's a lot of damage with that chain lightning level 5 on both of the heroes. Oh my goodness, look at that damage. And this is GG. Goes to all I had. It doesn't say here, but I mean that definitely all I had. There was absolutely no chance for Django to come back. That did lovely, lovely game there by Kid Dweeb. You guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and listening. I have enjoyed what you have. Like button. Watching this. Subscribe for more channel and follow me on my Twitch to catch the games live. Was Big Papa Z. I didn't about the reason. Everybody and everybody is welcome to send me very quick theories. All you gotta do is join my Discord server. Link to that is on the Twitch channel and in the description below. Okay. Thank you, Jockey, for joining me on another edition of Warcraft. Yay! I'll be seeing you the next one. Good night.